Hello everyone, what is CMOS and what is it used for? This is what we are going to talk about today. CMOS stands for Complementary Metal Oxide Semiconductor. It is used to describe the small amount of memory on a computer's motherboard that stores BIOS settings such as system time, date and hardware settings that are needed by the BIOS to start the computer. When the computer first boots up, BIOS pulls the information from the CMOS chip to understand the hardware settings such as date, time and anything else that is stored in it. This chip stores as little as 256 bytes of information. This is what basically CMOS does. Now some people get confused between BIOS and CMOS. So it's really important to understand that BIOS and CMOS are not the same thing. But they work together for a specific function within the computer. They are completely two different components. BIOS is a computer chip on the motherboard like CMOS, except that its purpose is to act like a middleman between processor and other hardware components like hard drive, keyboard, USB ports and so on. A computer without a BIOS doesn't understand how these components work together. For more information on BIOS, click on the link below in description. Ok, so on the other hand, CMOS is also a computer chip on the motherboard. But the difference is, it loses its settings when the computer is shut down. Just like RAM contents are not saved each time you restart your computer. However, CMOS battery is used to provide constant power supply to the CMOS chip to save the settings even after the computer is turned off. Remember, BIOS is non-volatile while CMOS is volatile. That means it needs constant power supply to maintain its settings. Alright, clearing CMOS is another important point to mention. It resets the BIOS settings to their default levels. This is a really easy task which is a great troubleshooting step for many types of computer problems. For example, if your computer is freezing up during the power on self-test. In this case, clearing CMOS to reset the BIOS settings to factory default levels is the easiest solution. Apart from this, you might need to clear the CMOS to reset misconfigured BIOS settings to fix certain kinds of issues like battery failure, CMOS checksum, low battery voltage and read error. Clearing CMOS is absolutely easy. Just remove the battery and put it back after a few minutes. Everything will go back to its default settings. That's it. How simple is that? Alright, here is a final thought. CMOS is a nifty little component that most computer users never have to worry about. Also, there is no need to play around with CMOS unless you are troubleshooting your computer and need to revert BIOS to its default settings. So you can forget about CMOS until you need it. Alright, this was all about CMOS. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.